Hi. I had not known that Pearl Jam came out with a new album. I'm not a big Pearl Jam fan, but I do like some of their stuff. I'm not someone who will go to one of their albums to listen to it. But once in a while, I might listen to a song to see if it's okay. If for some reason there's some mention of it that relates to something that I'm interested in. But for the most part, I pretty much avoid hearing them. And when I found out that they had a new album, I heard some people's reviews of it. And they're telling people that it's considered to be a throwback to the 90s. I don't hear that. And some people talk about being nervous because Andrew Watts' production isn't something that they ordinarily are into. I'd say that's smart because I don't like the album. But with a couple of exceptions that I do like and a half of an exception. For the most part, I'm not going to say that the fault is in the playing and I'm not even sure if the fault is in the production. The fault is in the style. The fault is in the type of music that they're doing here. And I find for the most part, it's music that's good for background music for people at a party who want something new that came out and maybe someone had got the new Pearl Jam album as a gift and they didn't even really listen to it because they're mostly into listening to radio and not whole albums, but they figure why not? It'll be cool to play this. And as long as everyone talks really loud and nobody really listens to it, it can pass as a background album of songs that aren't good. I'm not going to say that they're not memorable because I do remember that they're pretty bad, but again, with a couple of exceptions. But for the most part, if you found this album for free, by all means, if it's in good condition, you can probably trade it into a store for a better album. Or if you wanted to, you could listen to it, but I don't want to suggest listening to stuff that I think is not good. But if you did listen to it, there would be at least a couple of things that are good. Anyway, the first song, Scared of Fear, there's something kind of tame about the song that ultimately keeps it from being good and has that everybody sing along type of vibe to it. If you're someone who wants to jump on the bandwagon of being someone who likes the newest album from a group everyone is supposed to like, then yeah, well, I can think of a bunch of groups I don't like who I'd rather hear the first song on one of their albums before hearing this again. The guitar solo was decent, but I won't go back to it just to hear the guitar solo. But this is the first song, so let's see what happens.
the next song react respond okay now I have a completely different reaction to this song this is cool it's fast and weird in a way I like it's got me thinking this could be a good album so one for one at least now I'm interested let's see how the next song holds up I wrote these notes as I was listening to the album so even though I told you that I didn't care for most of it the notes were written before I decided to mention that anyway the third song wreckage this is pure crap I don't like it at all and will not respect anyone who likes it enough said next next song dark banner if this is supposed to be the grandiose track here I'm sorry but please stop it sounds like they're trying to sound like the cure but they don't have the spirit of that group and they instead sound like an only slightly less obnoxious version of the chemical brothers but still annoying it sounds like they're trying to do something cool and cannot do it all right the next song won't tell sorry not my bag this is so far the most television drama background music piece yet on here and fans of that type of junk would dig it I don't and now for upper hand after a somewhat long electronic introduction which sounds like it might lead to something interesting but hasn't yet it suddenly changes to a kind of country alternative crossover grunge piece that makes me think of Keith Keith Urban collaborating with the Jim Blossoms I'd rather hear Travis Tritt than this that's not something I'll say often ultimately this is bland and not for me okay the next song waiting for Stevie now this is a really good song and it's one of the best so far I dig it it does what upper hand tried to do but couldn't it has a great rocking groove that delivers now there's a small end piece on it that's guitar and echoey vocals that are horrible and clearly not even the same tune but tagged on like a filler piece but I won't let that affect how I feel about the regular song the tagged on part ought to have been scrapped it's pure shit okay now for running I would be embarrassed if I put out something like this it's fast with an intense driving beat and music that seems clownish and stupid if it was meant to be a joke song I could at least understand but it still wouldn't be a funny joke I'll pass and then something special I don't like it and it bothered me to hear it Wilson Phillips if they did it it would be the best song of their career not that I would like it but it would make more sense it's pretty bad and then got to give it starts with a very horrible lightweight acoustic sounding piece of absolute bullshit before it kicks into a loud electric version of the same thing anyone who likes this stuff is not someone I want to take advice from when it comes to what music to hear there's only one song left it'll either be good or not I'm hoping it will be good let's find out okay sending Sun well it starts with perhaps one of the most annoying and not good songs on the album I really didn't like the acoustic edge and the singing really pissed me off but interestingly enough it changed halfway through and became a good song so that was unexpected and it was welcome so I won't say I like the whole song I pretty much hate half of it but I am honest and will say I did like the second half okay 
I might listen to other reviews of this album just to see if they have any semblance of matching what I said about it, but I'm not so certain that that will be the case. I'm thinking some people will say will grow on them. I'm not saying it's impossible that will happen, but for the most part, it's not my type of music, and I really feel that if people love this album, they are not my type of people. So, I really prefer other stuff. There's maybe a couple of other albums that I'm planning on reviewing that might not be stuff that other people have liked, but from what I heard, I was at least interested. We'll see. Anyway, you can leave comments if you want, but if you leave comments, if, if you leave comments that I think are very annoying and I don't agree with, I will respond. But if you want that kind of give and take, then hey, go for it. Okay, cheers everyone. Bye.